All right, let me show you how to drink a proper German beer. Use a glass like this shape, grab a couple of ice cubes, and then boom. Mm. I like to enhance it a little bit, lemon juice, and that's usually how it's done. What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil. Diana's from the US and I'm from Germany. And this video, we are going to try all the popular German beer brands to see how good they are, to see what the American thinks, to see what the German thinks. Because I'm a huge beer connoisseur and so are you. Yes, Los Gates! This is a Kölsch glass and this is an old beer glass and we just use them because they're nice and small and see-through. Is this not a beer glass? Of course, that's, that's a beer glass. This is what you see in all the movies. Yeah, this but is... you want to drink 10 of these? Then we're like... No. We're gonna start with this one, the König Pilsener or Köpi, how Germans call it. Um, it's a standard Pilsener beer, 4.9% alcohol. We're not gonna use ice cubes. There we go. Oh, that steam out of it. I think that's enough. It looks like one of these... Uh, if you go to the doctor and you have to pee in a cup, that's about what that wow, looks like. What a great like way to start this video. At any point in the video, if you feel offended by anything what we're doing, like Let drinking us know. König Pilsner <laughs> from a Kölsch glass, just comment below. First beer of the day? Oh, wait. We have Could to be. look. Prost. Yeah, look at my eyes. Prost. What do you think? I feel like I'm going to offend people mm -hmm. with this video. What is the difference between this and a Bud Light? <laughs> is that bad? Well, Germans poop on Bud Light, so I'm not sure. I have also a couple of facts about each one here. This one is from Duisburg, North Rhine-Westphalia. I didn't know that. They're big in sponsoring sports events and stuff like that. I want to say this is very average tasting. It's fairly bitter, isn't it? Yeah, it's very bitter. And that's not my favorite type. So I don't know. I would give this like a five or something. We're not going to rate everyone. At any time, let us know what's your favorite beer. All right, next one, I want to do the one that I see the most often, Bex. So I'm from Northern Germany and this was super common. This was like one of the beers everybody had at parties. This it's is also often on the US menus. I don't see a lot of these beers on the US menus, but I feel like Bex is always a German beer option. Yeah. And Bex, ooh, that sound is always nice. It's actually from the Bremen area in Northern Germany. So it's a Northern beer. Also a classic German Pilsner. Not too much, please. Nice angle. There you go. Are you supposed to do all beers with an angle? I don't know. Uh, well, depends. I thought this is the most popular. It's not the most popular, but I think it's top three or something oh. like that. Okay. There we go. Oh, I like this one a little better. And I'm trying not to be biased, but it's not as sharp hey, and like herby of a flavor. This is all about being biased. <laughs> Please be biased. Or is it because you know it from America? Just because it's the, the one brand I'm the most wow. familiar with. Immediate response? Yeah, better than the Yeah, than the this, one's a, this one, I would, okay, if we were ranking them, I think I would give this an eight. This is something I could drink normally without being grossed out by and like finish it. That's the one you probably can't go wrong with. All right, since that's from the north, we're staying in the north and uh, the one from the intro is next, the Flensburger. And this one is a little special on our selection because it's the only one in this type of bottle. We call it like a handgranate, a hand grenade. I don't really? know if we can say that. Yeah, <laughs> and it has this, uh, opener that you can close again. I really like this bottle. I think it's fun. So this one is from Flensburg. It might be the most northern city of Germany. It's right on the border to Denmark. Denmark. That city is famous for A, that beer, and for B, keeping your driving tickets on record. That's what <laughs> oh, yeah. it's famous for. Watch out for the blitz. I always felt like these are the most manly bottles. This is like what the construction workers drink what? in their morning breakfast break. What makes a bottle manly? It's metal on it. There's metal and it plops. It's awesome. Here we go. Metal plopping. Okay, let's see how the flesh Whoa, you didn't burger. look at me. Hmm, that's it's different. It's softer than the f previous two. But it has a stronger aftertaste. It tastes darker. Like the residuals of beer staying on your tongue. Like this was drink two days ago and there's just a sip left and then you open a drink it. That's a little bit what that tastes like. I don't think that one's my favorite. Yeah, mine neither. I'm surprised though because I thought I liked this better than Beck's. I thought I was gonna like it too because it looks cool. Flensburg. Gonna offend so many people. Oh, that's what that glass is for. You're just <laughs> dumping your, your leftovers in there and then we're gonna have the perfect beer cocktail in the end. Let's go 
down in the south. Going down the south. Where they're very proud of their beer. This is a different type of beer. The Paulana Weiss beer. Yeah, it's a wheat beer. This is a little stronger, 5.5%. Whoa, we're gonna be crunk, drunk. So this one's from Munich, Bavaria, and it's a wheat beer. Um, a wheat beer is a beer traditionally from Bavaria in which a significant proportion of malty barley is replaced with malted wheat. And uh, the Paulana is a very big deal at the Oktoberfest. And uh, also the company, the Paulana Company, organizes Oktoberfests around the world. This one is the second most recognizable to me. Really? Yeah, I don't know. This man with the very long pointy beard and this yeah. logo is recognizable. There was a thing with uh, the wheat beer, you have to use the whole bottle because there's residuals on the bottom. I don't know if that's still the case and if that's oh. true. If so, we are again insulting pour? this. Not a see-through. My urine is too dark. Yeah, if your urine looks like that. <laughs> you should drink water. something wrong with drink it. Drink some water. Oh, this might be good. Let's see, Bavaria. I. Oh, What does it taste like? Hold on. Is it fruitier? There's a wheat beer mixed with banana. <laughs> and I always thought the regular wheat beer like this tastes like banana already a little bit. I can see where you think that. It's not like the, it's not the fake banana taste flavor that they put in candy. It's like a proper banana. Yeah, <laughs> it's a proper banana beer. I don't think this one's horrible. I definitely think it's on the better end, but I don't know if wheat beers are my favorite. I kind of grew to like them. There's sometimes a little bit of a transformation. You start with the regular beers in your teens here at 14 or 16 in Germany. Uh, out the womb. Yeah, out of the womb. And then in my 20s, I grew to like the wheat beer a little more. So right now, I like that. Still don't know if it's better than Bex. I think the Bex is the better version because this is very filling. I think this is my second favorite it's so heavier. far. Yeah. Like Bex would be top and then this would yeah. be the next. It's very well done. It's just, I think, personal preference, not my fave. All right, let's try another Pilz. The Bitburger. 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 Wow, they have their Instagram handle and Facebook on here. Really? Represent. It says Bitte ein Bit on the... Yeah, that's the slogan. That's the slogan. Bitte ein Bit. Thank you, that's enough. I like this bottle. It's something sexy about it, how it curves outwards. There you go, Bitburger. That's like the Königspils now all over again. I don't like it. I don't know what it is, dude. It's the it's these brown bottles with the white labels. They suck. I like the bottle. I'm not manly enough to like this bitter. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's beans. not throw masculine, feminine, and feminine. <laughs> oh, here we go. What? What's happening? I don't like use, it. Use your spit bottle. Don't drink too much. Here's our uh, leftover mix. And unless you're gonna drink I'm sorry, it. Sorry, that's not my Wow, favorite. we're making the beer cocktail the best one of all time. Let's just stay with the topic. I think this one might be just as bad. Wow, that's great. Great way to uh, hype it up. The Warsteiner. This is gonna be amazing. It's a brown bottle. Another, oh whoa, shit, whoa. another Pilsner. This is the one my dad always had when I was a kid. Right. You know, run in the basement and get myself a beer from the case. Get I always got a Warsteiner. It's a family tradition since 1753. Is this the oldest one on here? So it's from Warstein, which is a city in Western Germany, not too far from Dortmund. It's Pilsner again. This is it's, from Dortmund? That's close to us. Yeah, and exported into 60 countries. Not directly from Dortmund, like an hour outside. Smaller. Oh, nice. Look at the bubble. That's my bubble. You just popped the, I was trying. I just popped your bubble. Rude. I can tell she's a little, little tipsy. I'm a beer connoisseur. So since my dad always had that, I I knew I didn't like it. It might be a little better than the König Pilsner and the Bitburger. Bitburger. It's, it's only the third worst. It's like when you have coffee for the first time. You have to learn to love it. And yeah. I think this beer is what people learn to love. I don't think anyone <laughs> has an immediate sip of this and is like, Wow, wow, that's incredible, no. wunderschön, sehr lecker. Yeah. No one says that. No 13 year old says that. Warsteiner, yeah, it's okay. I'm just curious if any of you, of your favorites are like the Bitburger, the König Pilsner. Um, why? Let us know why. Like, what like, do you, you what do you like with about it? it? Is it like a, I could see if your family grew up with it, you really like it because it's just this habit thing and it's a, you become 
Probably, maybe, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, drinking just, habits form with family. Just, but yeah. I'm just trying to think of a reason yeah. why. By the way, guys, if you want to further support us, you can do that on patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil. We make more videos there, more content if you like to. And today we're gonna give a shout out to our soulmate level Patreon. So big, big thank you to Ricky, Dorian Dino, Gary and Amanda Day, Laura and Jared, the two restless retirees and Christina Lights. And by the way, Laura and Jared just uh, made a beer drinking, beer trying video on their channel. So check that out so if you want So check that out. All right, let's go with the biggest one. I think this is the most popular, most Drink, drink, drank one in Germany, most drunken one. Drunk. And it's the Kronbacher. For me, for 13 year old Phil, back in the 1970s, <laughs> this was the yet. one I think I started with. This is like everywhere. Gebraut nach dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot, like to German standards. Yeah. We also have all these, why did we buy the big bottles? Oh, this one has a message. Feel good by next Mal. Good luck next time. This one sucks. Get another one. Better oh, luck next time. Are you time. supposed to win something? Potentially the most popular one in Germany. Oh, it's the clear. It's very clear. All right, here we go. <laughs> most popular beer. I'm getting a little funnier. You feel drunk? Well, I can tell you are. No, I'm sober. I walk a straight line. Give me a sobriety test. It's like 11 a.m. and I haven't. We haven't eaten anything. So. Ooh. It's not, <laughs> it's not great. What the hell? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what a great reaction. It's worse than I thought. Okay, we didn't eat anything. I'm gonna go get something for us to eat. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we have here brezel sticks. Laugenstange with uh, cheese and ham. Yeah, this is another Laugenstange, Laugenbrötchen, Brezelbrötchen, Pretzel, I don't know. In Bavaria or anywhere, this goes very well with beer because I think it's not too upsetting for the stomach. And it feels like the, the, the dough is absorbing it a bit. All right, <clears throat> we have a couple more big ones. Another hit from the north, the Jeva. I really like this name and the bottle. Wie One. das Land, so das Jeva. I like it. It's green. Well, let me tell you, Jeva is also from the north of Germany, the northwest, very much on the coast of the Northern Sea, not far from far from the Netherlands. Not far from the Netherlands. It's and, not uh, far. And it's supposed to be a very bitter one. I never tried this back to back. If you have strong preferences and you feel heavily insulted by this video, just try them back to back. Like I'm a bit surprised here. <laughs> here we go. That is more bitter. Dude. I think it's better than all the shitty pills. Really? I think this tastes like a Coors Light or a Michelob. Dude, don't even compare this to these I American don't... piss beers. But that's what it Coors tastes Light. like a little bit, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting drunk too. Here's our beer mix. What if this in the end tastes absolutely fabulous? Mmm, mmm. And then you dip your little thing in there. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed in the Jever. I think there were times in yeah. my life where I defended the Jever, where I thought the Jever Me is too. the way to go. Look at this. This looks so nice. I'm trying to keep the two best ones for last. We need to see me positive. I feel like I'm being so <laughs> negative. <laughs> we have two more. We have the Feltins. Same thing, 4.8% alcohol and uh, Pilsner. Oh. Mm. <laughs> there you go. It's literally just foam. It's all head. All that's head. How, that's how it's supposed to be. Look. Oh, yeah. Feltins is also from North Rhine-Westphalia, close to the Dortmund area. It's famous for sponsoring the Feltins Arena, which is the arena of the first league football club, Schalke 04. Very famous one, very strong fan base. It's funny how these beer brands sponsor all these arenas and uh, What do you mean it's events. funny? It makes the most sense. They have their beer everywhere. Because You beer? associate it with adrenaline, game rushing, awesomeness, and then you drink a beer. It's softer. Yeah. It tastes a little bit like it's been there for a couple days again. Really? It's, it's not as bubbly. Is that because I put it poorly? It's not the worst of the bunch, but then again, it goes in the glass. Can't wait to try this. All right, we got two more. They're both good. There we go. Bavaria might. The Erdinger. Oh, Erdinger. Erdinger. It's Erdinger. I like Erdinger. That sounds like a nice yeah. word. So Erding is a town close to Munich. It's from Bavaria. 
It's another Weissbier, which means white beer, which is just a Bavarian word for wheat beer or Hefeweizen in Germany. It should be very similar to the Paulana. Oh. And I never know which one's better. So if you are from Bavaria or just happen to know beer a lot, which one of these is better, the Paulana or the Erdinger? I think they're both pretty. So far, this nice. is my number two. Yeah, after so, the Becks. Yeah, we'll Dude, see. Becks cannot come out here. Top place. It's a little darker again. This is how you drink it usually in a Kölsch glass. We're triggering I'm, so I'm, many people. I'm sorry, Bavaria, you know. <laughs> it has this slight banana smell to me again. That might just be the hop, the, the wheat. I don't know. Yeah. Mm, okay. I have to try back to back because I might like this better than the other one, but I'm not sure. Oh really, I just wanted to say the same thing. We go on back for another sip of the Paulana back to back. The Paulana has the stronger banana smell of taste. Okay, the Erdinger has a sharper after flavor. This one is a little smoother, I think. More banana. That's, you can't just, it's know, there's yeah, nothing yeah, banana. I know what you're saying though. So which one do you like better? I don't know. I think I like this one a little better still, but this one is pretty good. Like You like the Paulana a little better? Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't mind. It's just smoother. Me too. It's less uh, Me too. sharper aftertaste. Yeah, I think Paulana slightly better. However, Erdinger, good too. Yeah, that one's my third. Uh, right I don't now. know if it's an, uh, an aging thing, but I think I prefer these over most of the Pilsners. Get a little wheat beer in the mix here. Also, we're missing the Oettinger. There's a brand called Oettinger and I wanted to get it. We're living in Düsseldorf and I couldn't find it. We went to like three supermarkets and two kiosks. Yeah. Oettinger is from Oettingen in Bavaria, which is a little bit in the northern part of Bavaria. Oettinger is rarely found on taps in pubs and bars. It's mostly sold in bottles and cans at supermarkets. Interestingly, how they keep their price down, they do not advertise. Oh. It's known as the cheap beer and that's what I knew it too. Yes. No, tipsy here. Anyway, we couldn't find it in Düsseldorf. That's funny. I don't know why, if this is just an aerial area thing. We have one more left, but I think Pilsner tastes a little like college to me. It's yeah. a little like watered down beer. Like it's just yeah. this clear beer taste. I don't know if that's offensive. I also think in the US, there's a big culture with this light beers, which yeah, means huge. less calories and stuff, you, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, is less calories. Is it less calories. alcohol too? I think, I don't know. Some of them. Yeah. Yeah. But the last one we want to try because I grew to like this in the past here is a local one from Düsseldorf, the Füchschen. This one has 4.8% alcohol too. It's an Altbier, which is a top fermented lagered beer. It's only brewed in Düsseldorf and the Lower Rhine region and it should be a little darker. And this is actually the glass you're supposed to drink it from, I think, so. Oh, that's dark. Yeah. That looks like a Coke. Let's see how that is. Sorry. And that is the best one. I like it. It goes down smoother than all the Pilsners. I still think I like this one better than that. The Paulana. You this like is my this. order. One, two, three, four. Oh, and then wow. the rest of them, no. I don't know, it's heavy, but uh, it's not horrible. And now for the grand finale, this is our... Oh, let's put a little fuchsian in there. Wow, that looked beautiful. This is the mix of all these 11 or 12 beers that we just tried. And look how beautiful that looks. Look at the color. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I am not shitting you. Shut. This tastes very good. Shut the front door. I'm calling you like this one the best. Baby, we just discovered this is a breakthrough in history. Be honest. Are you digging with me right now? Do you like it? Why? Why does it taste good? It tastes good! Oh my god! Oh, maybe we just had too many and we think it tastes good. <laughs> it's like when people make concoctions while high. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Dude, we have Paulana, Erdinger, Füchschen, Bex, Jever, Feltin, Zwarzsteiner, Bitburger, Königspilsner, Flensburger, Kronbacher, all in one. And this is the best beer of all time. So moral of the story is Germany, you just need to unite all together to make the ultimate beer. Yeah, we're gonna finish all of them now. Yeah, I feel tipsy. Good night. <laughs>
Yeah. yeah, so this was our German beer tasting. Um, please don't be offended. We're or just, do. It's, it's all, yeah, be offended. If you're offended, like the video. If you're not offended, please like the video. It's a very subjective matter. This is mainly just to show you the top popular beers that are available here in Germany. And then you should try there. them all and mix them. And uh, If you want. Yeah, let us know in the comments below which yeah. one is your favorite. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Woo!